Well, I've come to Piasty today to try some symbols out. The question is why, considering that over many years I've actually accumulated a lot of symbols. And, and the reason really is because one tends to be unaware of all the developments that go on all the time with drum equipment and musical instruments and symbols in particular. And there's at least two new ranges that uh, I think are really interesting. And it would be silly not to at least um, give them a, a sound out. My history with, with Posty goes back a long way. Uh, in fact, I'd started with the company in, I think, 71, when we were playing the Montreux Jazz Festival, and someone from Posty uh, came and saw me after the show and said, um, would I be interested in endorsing the symbols? And this was the first, uh, my first inkling that anything like this might even existed. The idea of someone actually giving me some symbols was frankly wonderful. I said uh, it's a bit like meeting Father Christmas. And, um, and from then on, it, it actually was, has been a great relationship because over the years, I've tried a lot of, of the different versions of symbols. And, uh, well, I've certainly, I've never needed to play anything else. We've tried a, a whole bunch of things, uh, mainly concentrating on ride symbols. Um, because I think, that the, for me, the ride symbol is the most important uh, symbol in, in the collection. Uh, it, it does so in, in so many ways. It does so much more work. The thing about the ride symbol is all those tones and overtones that come out with it that, that create. So it's not only about the rhythm and the, the sound. It's the, all those underlying tones that come with it. It's really interesting going back to uh, the, the sort of old favourites. What we've tended to find is that some of the older symbols still sound incredibly good and in fact Paiste have been remaking some of the early models uh, which has been fascinating to, to hear them now and to, to hear them again. The 2002 is something that I used for many many years in fact until uh, I added some signature, uh, some of the signature range but it's still a, a, it is a definitive ride symbol for me and what's so interesting is that the, the 20s, uh, uh, in particular, are, are the sort of the next generation of, of the same thing in some ways. They do have a slightly different sound and a different tone, um, but they still they still do the same job. That they still have that great that great sound. It's the interaction between them that, that interests me particularly today. And uh, looking at um, this dark, dry ride, for instance, which is something. I've, is rather different to anything I've played before, but I love the idea of maybe having something that switches between what I might call the classic ride into a slightly different sound. So that, in, particularly if you've got a song, that, a fairly lengthy song, where there's quite a long ride part for it, um, that maybe switching between two will give another dynamic to the music. What I like, really, is, is this constant development, the sense that of trying to push and find out what new sounds are wanted and what people would like because of course there aren't very many drummers who imagine a sound beyond what they're, what they're hearing and I, I certainly don't think um, I imagine a sound beyond what I'm playing it's a matter of very much of coming in and listening to a whole variety of sounds and going yeah I really like that one or I really like that one and of course with a drum kit switching between it's not just one symbol, it's the way they all interact together. So crashes that match, but much more uh, as well, again, talking about rides, that maybe different, different songs, changes in the music you're playing, uh, sometimes suit the idea of, of maybe changing the way your symbols sound. I'd like to take the opportunity to say thank you again to Paisti for 40 years of looking after my symbols and supplying me. I'm very pleased to be here in the new uh, Emporium in Milton Keynes where they've actually got a room that you can really experiment with the sounds in, which is absolutely terrific. So thank you very much.